Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world. And I wanted to start this video by wishing everyone a very happy new year. I hope 2024 is off to a great start for you. I'm very happy to be back on YouTube for 2024. I feel very inspired to film, edit, upload some content on this platform and I wanted to thank every one of you to be part of this journey with me. I hope we're gonna have an all a wonderful 2024. It's actually off to a busy start for me and for us with, with my partner. I just came back from Utah where I had to go there for work mainly but we took this opportunity to ski for a few days in Deer Valley for, for the one that know this uh, ski station. That was, that was awesome. And I'm about to go, jump back on a plane and leave for France in a few days where I have to go there for work and also I want to see my family. And I was thinking about filming my stay in Paris. I'm gonna be there for a few days. And I think this is the type of content that you guys might enjoy, so stay tuned for that. But today we have a different type of video. If you guys are watching my content on a regular basis or if you are a regular subscriber, you will know that I love Hermes vintage bags and I dropped my Hermes vintage Kelly 35 in box leather in chocolate color in May 2023 at the Hermes Spa. And recently, a few days ago, I received this text from the um, aftercare specialist at Hermes here in, in my local boutique mentioning that my bag has been brought back from the Hermes Spa from Paris and is ready to be picked up. So what I wanted to do today with you is to go to Hermes together, pick up the bag and then come back home and I wanted to explain to you a little bit more about the process, my experience with the Hermes Spa pricing obviously as well as the type of work that has been done on the bag and obviously showing you the bag and look and see what it looks like now after repair so i think this type of video could be very interesting for people like me that love to buy vintage pieces that are not in pristine condition and then evaluate how much you know it will cost and how long it will take for the bag to be repaired to see a little bit the overall picture of, for this kind of type of project so thank you so much again for tagging along with me today and uh, let's go to Hermes Hey guys, so we made our way back safe to the house and as you can see, I secured my vintage bag in this big shopping tot. I have to say that I had a pretty good experience at the Hermes store today. It was great to see the aftercare specialist. I always have a fun time with him. He's a very knowledgeable person. We always talk about the leather that Hermes is producing, the vintage pieces that Hermes used to do or the new style that Hermes is gonna launch for the new season. Talking about new style, I had the opportunity to try this Hermes Kelly Messenger crossbody, as you can see. And I was pretty impressed with this bag. I know that it's available in two different sizes. The one I tried was the smallest size and I'm six foot one for references if any of you is interested. They were not sure about the type of leather and the type of color that uh, this bag was coming in, which was kind of odd. 
but the one I tried was definitely not Togo or Barrenia Faubourg. It was another one. I was I'm not sure what type of leather it was. Okay. And for any one of you that are, is interested about the price, it was twelve thousand dollars before tax. So a pretty expensive bag for a crossbody situation. But FYI, if you are interested about this type of bag, and I know this bag is also coming in Barrenia Faubourg in fourth color with palladium hardware so i think it would be a pretty neat combination for this for this bag so again fyi if you are interested i have to say that the store is looking better and better over the months they changed location recently again i'm shopping at the south coast plaza so they have put a lot of efforts to put new bags and new style on the shelf for the store to look a little bit better so it was super fun to see the different bags they were displaying as well as the new style that were being offered so overall a very positive and fun experience at the store today but let's stop talking about the store and my experience there and let me show you the bag so as I was mentioning, it came into this big shopping tote, which I was pretty happy that they gave me. And then they also gave me a new dust bag. Okay, so let's unbox the bag. I love, <laughs> always love doing that. So it's not uh, obviously a new bag, huh? so you guys have probably seen it on my channel before, if you are watching my content on a regular basis, but without any surprise, this is my Hermes KD35 in box leather chocolate color gold hardware and it's from 1992. So inside of the bag they put some plastic bubbles for the bag to keep its shape. We're gonna remove that. And they also gave me this little booklet with Le Cuir Hermes. So basically it's more information about the Hermes leather and I've seen this kind of like booklets when people were unboxing their brand new bags so it's pretty nice of them to have gave me one I never had one before so here we go so before we look in detail at the bag and I share with you the type of work that has been done on, on it let me share with you a little bit more about how long the process took so after talking to my aftercare specialist as I was mentioning I dropped the bag on May 12th of last year of 2023 and then I received the coat back on June 30th. So basically, it took them a month and a half to evaluate what type of work can be done on the bag and how much it will cost. And then as I was mentioning, at the end of December, so December 23rd to be exact, I received a text from this aftercare specialist saying that the bag has been brought back from Paris. So overall, the full process took a little bit more than seven months. So that's something to keep in mind if you are looking for this type of project too. You will not see your bag for seven months or more. Okay, so now let's focus on what has been done in the bag and how much it has cost me. And spoiler alert, it was pretty expensive. In the receipt, you have all of the detail of what has been done on the bag. The first thing, so the first line, the first description is an overall cleaning and what they call a makeup finish of the bag. They have completely reworked on the bag. It looks amazing. It used to have a lot of like scratches and in some part of the bag, the paint was off, went off. And now you can see that every corner has been repainted and look amazing. They've done such a great job. The front of the bag looks great too. Obviously, you can tell it's a vintage piece, but it looks so much better. The back, I remember, had a lot of like scratches and in some parts the paint went off and now they completely redone it. And this service was free. And then the second thing that uh, has been done on the, on the bag is a replacement of the top handle. This top handle is completely new and you can definitely feel the difference this is a very solid handle the one that was in the bag previously was starting to be completely soft and you can see that it has a lot of wear and tear obviously the bag is from 1992 so it's normal that after 30 years or more you can see some wear and tear on the handle but this one looks very very amazing and very very uh, substantial this service cost me one thousand three hundred and fifteen dollars and i can see on the receipt that there is a discount of 100 dollars because of the price increase of 2024 
if I would have to drop my bag right now, it would have cost me so much more because, uh, because of the price increase of Hermes, it's also impacting uh, the aftercare work that Hermes is performing. So just for you to know, the more you wait at Hermes and other brand probably, the more you're gonna pay if you, for this type of service. What they have done then is to replace the clasp, the two-way clasp as they call. So basically this, and I can really feel like this is new and not loose like the one that was there before. Again, the bag is from 1992, so this is something that you should expect after turning the clasp for 30 plus years. The replacement of the clasp cost me $230. The overall bag has been restitched. Restitching of the bag cost me $155. Then what they have done that I'm very, very excited about is they have created a new shoulder strap for this bag. So this bag, when I purchased it, didn't come with any shoulder strap. So I'm super happy that they basically created a new one for this bag that is here. And they did an amazing job matching the color of the strap and the new top handle, I have to say, with the old original color of the bag. So it's really the same and you can really feel that this is a brand new one. It's pretty rigid, which I love. It looks very uh, substantial. And this new strap cost me $766. And I forgot to mention that along with the new strap, they have actually removed the previous ring where you can attach the strap. I'm gonna remove that, that way you can see it better. And they have put a double ring instead of like a single ring. So that way you can basically attach the strap to the, the other ring and not damage the bag like previously. I was kind of afraid that the bag looks less vintage with the double ring, but it's, it's very discreet. And honestly, if this is um, a way to damage the bag less when you wear the strap with it, I'm, I'm completely uh, happy with it and I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this decision. So I don't know if you guys remember, but I also bought a few years ago this sports strap for this bag, which is matching perfectly the brown color of this bag. So that way, let me put that on the bag under the ring two. That way I have two different side of strap. One, if I want to wear crossbody, so the sports one will be the crossbody situation like so which I like too it's more like sporty and the other one this trap that they just made will be more like a shoulder way of wearing the bag which honestly I like too. I forgot to mention that when you want Hermes to create a strap for your bag they are asking you what lens do you want so you can create any type of lens. So yeah, that's the bag with the two different straps, which I'm really happy to have. And the last thing that they did is to replace the side strap plate as well as the uh, front plate. So as you can see, all of those plates here, 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 and this one are new. And this costs $130. If those fits are the same, but that's okay. Uh, we don't really see the fit, so that's fine. So as you can see, Hermes, I've put some stickers on the plate and the clasp, so we're gonna remove that together now. First of all, on the clasp. Here we go. Let's do the plate. Oh no. It looks so shiny and beautiful. Let's do the first plate now. One. And two. Here we go. If you haven't done the math in your head, let me tell you exactly how much it costs. As you can see, it was a pretty intense work that this bag has been through in between the strap, the plate, the replacement of the handle, the replacement of the flap. So total, it cost me a little bit less than 2600 So it was definitely a very expensive job. Now something I wanted to do is to re-put the lock on one of the ring. Here we go. I love this look with a little cadenas on the side. The 
close shut and the keys are gonna stay inside of the bag. And the last thing I wanted to do, and for that we'll have to close the bag, is to put my little Cadena charm from 1992. So exactly the same year as this bag, so. Here we go, the Cadena charm has been put on the front lock, as you can see. And so I feel very happy right now because this bag has a full set. So to conclude, I will say that I'm very happy with the process and the results for this bag. Obviously, it was a very expensive one. It was basically the price of a very nice bag. So uh, that's definitely something I had to uh, think a few times in my head before giving them the green light. But I don't regret it because this bag, again, is from 1992, so it's 30 plus years. It definitely needed some work in order to make it look better and in order for him to have a longer life, I have to say. I wish you can feel this uh, top handle. The quality is really there. The bag looks so much better. I'm so happy with the addition of the strap. It will um, allow me to wear this bag in a different way. Keep in mind that my process, my experience was very really, um, expensive because a lot of work has been done on this bag in between, you know, the replacement of the flap, the replacement of the top handle, the D-ring, the strap, the plates that has been changed. But maybe your piece or the piece you are looking at doesn't need that much work. For example, if you're just looking to add a strap, it would be around 700 to 800 dollars. If you're just looking to change the plate, that was the least expensive work done on this bag. So my experience is really personal, obviously, and doesn't mean that it would be that expensive for your case. Uh, again, for me, I was happy to do it because that way I'm sure I will have this bag looking good for so much longer. Thank you again for watching my video today. I always like your support. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. Don't hesitate to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so yet. And again, anywhere you are in the world right now, I hope you have a wonderful beginning of 2024 and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.